Right, so we're in Capella now. There's just two planets in the system, which is weird. Um, I'd expect more from uh, Capella because Capella's actually um, a star system, if memory serves. So, um, you know, you expect a lot from something which is an actual system or has an actual base in um, reality. Um, I don't know, it's, it's like the blue minerals on this planet are pretty good. Um, there's not a lot of them, though. Hmm. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. I mean, this is this is probably worth the trip. I mean, we're we're bordering on Yehat space. There's some cool stuff. It's not terrible. The important thing is that I manage to get safely back home. I mean, I've got seven crew left, literally, um, which is really, really bad. There's a purple world here. Who knows? It might be full of great resources. Who knows? We're going to find out. Right. I'm really hoping that there's something good here. Yeah, that's not bad. Weather class seven. Oh, sounds a bit dangerous to me. And I've only got seven crew left. At this rate, I could be the only crew member. Right. Right. This is a little bit dangerous for me. Um, I don't like this too much. But I do need resources. And I need to make sure that this is not right. This is worthwhile. Right. Just don't panic. Continue gathering resources, everything will be fine. Mm. I've lost one, seven. Risk is its own reward. Okay, so I've nearly, nearly got everything. I literally have only a few more resources left to gather, and then I can get out free. It is a risk doing this, but sometimes, I mean, at the moment, I need to take risks, otherwise what are you going to think of me? So Capella wasn't too bad. It's not worth coming out here for Capella alone, but, you know, we might as well have done it. Because at least we found out. We found out that it was not worth it. Um, so I've got six crew left, low fuel. Actually, the fuel's not that low. Um, my fuel's fine. But the low, the low crew is a worry for me. Thing is, if something appears in front of me and it just smacks me, I'm done. Um, and losing this many people is really, really bad. Um, so yeah, um, what have I got on my um, thing? I know where the Druge homeworld is. I don't want to visit them though, because I don't like the Druge. I'm going to have to deal with them at some point though. Horrible creatures. So yeah, what have we what have we got that is uh, interesting? So um, I know where the Salilandro are. They're in Beta Corvi. I need to head to Beta Corvi. I know that that's up north. I'm going to go to Beta Corvi, I think, because that is a good place to go. Um, and I know that the Threadash are Threadash are up up there as well in the Draconis area. So that's exactly where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna go to the Thredash sort of area, and I'm gonna go all the way up to Beta Corvi as well. Oh my God, this has been a hard resource mining mission. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not doing well. More fuel for the fire, eh, Captain? Yeah, I've done all right. Goodbye, Be careful Commander. out there, Captain. I hate the fact that I've lost so many men. Um, it really upsets me. Oh, I'm filling up them fuels. Oh yeah, just one cool thing. When you're filling up the fuels, you can see there, it fills up the fuel, which is pretty cool.
Right, shipyard. Oh boy, there was not a lot of crew there. That was worrying. I mean, it would probably be better for me to replace one of my crew sections with a Shiva furnace for better battle capabilities at this point. Um, but, you know, oh god. Sometimes you got to take the risks. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head all the way up. I'm going to save over my main game. Um, I managed to make it out okay. Oh, there's blooming probes. So I'm going to go up to Beta Corfi, uh, but I'm going to probably pop in on Dr Draconis on the way up because I think that's on the same route. Um, so, star map. Let's get going. There's Normae. Epsilon Orianus. Oh, I'm sure that this is the area. Right. Orianus is there. There's Draconis. Now, Beta Draconis is the. Delta is the homeworld. Zeta Draconis is where the artifact is. And Beta Corvi, I think, is up here somewhere. Where are we? Beta Corvi is all the way up there, so. Then we're going to go to the probes first. This is a long, long, long ass mission, honestly. But, who knows? We'll find out what happens. <laughs> now, okay, so we, we know that the Thradash are based over in um, the Draconis area, which is pretty cool. They got fast ships, um, which have uh, got called call the Thradash torches. They're one of my favourite ships in the game. Um, Zeta Draconis is where the artifact is, um, which is the Bavixis caster, which I think I'm going to need. Um, most important thing is that I avoid too much conflict because uh, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a game about space battles, but I don't like the space battle part of this game. Um, I mean, um, one interesting thing is uh, I don't know how much fuel it will cost me to get all the way up and back, so I could be actually in serious trouble. Uh, one thing though is that they I can trade stuff in with the Melname for uh, if I run out of resources. Because um, ideally that's what I want to do. I want to the yeah, Melna May are pretty useful in this game, so if you do run out of things like fuel, um, they will support you and help you. Um, so that's that's really a useful tool. This is such a long trek. Um, you know, I don't know if you can even uh, you, you'll even have watched it this far because it's like you could might as well just skip to the next video. But you know, it's like. You know, we, we're covering ground. We, we are going to meet the Slylandro, who are the owners of the probes. I just can't be asked to deal with any more probes. I'm sick of probing! You know? Anyway, so, in terms of fuel, I have 210 maximum fuel. So, 20210. And I'm not entirely sure where we are at the moment, but I don't know whether or not we are uh, getting into the risk zones. So we're going to check the star map. Yeah, we are going to be cutting it pretty fine. Um, but I think we can make it. I really think we can make it. Now that's an unusual spaceship that's going to coming after us there. I think that might be a probe. I'm just going to ignore it because, um, you know, even if it's like the Aralu who I do need to contact, I'd rather not, you know, deal with them at the moment. I don't like the Aralu. They're a little bit creepy. Earn Brew makes you good at games. And the amount that I drink, I should be uh, really good at games, but you know. Anyway, so we're about halfway down. 
So this is a really long hyperspace journey, uh, possibly one of the longer ones that you have to embark on during the game if you want to complete this part. It just cuts down on the number of probes, makes your life a little bit easier because you don't want to have to deal with all these probes consistently replicating, creating problems, um, because they, they really, really get in the way of your life and your adventures. Um, I mean, the, re the resource units are probably some of the best in the game for what they are, but ideally we don't want to deal with that kind of nonsense. Um, anyway, I think we are nearly there. Yep, we're there. Alright, so, Beta Corvi, here we are. So we'll, we'll catch up next time. Bye-bye!